days, the National Peanut Festival gets underway with a ribbon cutting. In fact, it draws tens of thousands of folks throughout the southeast to the Circle City. And that's right, but many are concerned about safety measures, not only with COVID, but also in view of the recent violence in the Circle City. WDHN's Robert Smith has you covered. A huge crowd this time. We're going to have a record breaker. Wiregrass Fair Gores will flood the gates starting next week for the National Peanut Festival. If we're providing local people to have a Disney World. This is like Disney World to a lot of people that can't go to Orlando. The fair will feature over 60 rides, attractions, and shows, and there will also be five new rides. Last year, unfortunately, fairgoers missed out on the fun due to the rising cases of COVID-19. While COVID-19 is still present, but not as prevalent, keeping fairgoers safe is a must, so National Peanuts staff and volunteers will thoroughly clean rides. We'll spray fog the rides probably two, three days, eh, one or two days before the fair. I had, we only get here four days before. So we'll, we'll fog all the rides and then we have prime time that is uh, COVID killer and um, gets disinfectant that gets rid of them all. We'll do periodic cleaning. Another priority is safety at the festival, which has been a concern to many due to the recent spurts of gun violence in the Circle City. The festival has been a victim of fights in the past, but they are confident their precautions will alleviate any extreme problems. One thing we have increased and will be, oh, there will be more police presence at the gates. And, you know, there are no guns allowed. Of course, we can't see them if they're concealed, but that, you know, there's no guns allowed on property, so they're there watching for that to any noticeable sign. Reporting in Dothan, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass. Coming up with a 